Go ahead. And <laughs> Only I would get in the empty boxes that they have to be transported in Meyer bags and have them rip through. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help build your brand and grow your business online. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So today I'm actually pretty excited to get into these Ipsy Glam Bag X's, I do believe, because I think I have heard that Miss Bailey Sarian has curated them. And I for one personally love Bailey Sarian. She's so pretty and funny and she likes spooky things and I like spooky things and I, I just I really enjoy Bailey Sarian and her content. So I'm excited to see what is going to be inside these boxes. I'm hoping for like maybe some spooky related like makeup or something. I know it's February, which is like the love month. Love and like candy and cute stuffed animals, stuff like that. But since Bailey Sarian has curated these, I'm hoping we see something a little bit like creepy cool. Watch she's not even be curated by Bailey Sarian. I'll have to redo my entire intro. <laughs> All right, I'm tap stitched up and ready to go. All right, so let's start here with the top box. Yes, I still do get three of these things. I just, let's just not worry about it. It's fine. It looks like this one had a sticker on it and then it was cut off and then like restuck. So that's interesting. Oh, look, there she is. Okay, good. So this is actually curated by Bailey Sarian. Pods. All right, I gotta save my phone, of course. Dang, nabbit. I got really excited because I only read the words cocoa and fudge, and I'm like, delicious. Uh, but right in the middle, somehow I missed the word rose. Dang, nabbit. I'm a little bit excited about this, though, even though it does have a rose scent to it, because I have seen this brand all over the place, and just, like, the thought of the texture of this is very appealing to me. So this is a cocoa rose fudge whipped body butter with coconut, rose, shea butter, vegan collagen booster, and algae extract booster. Um, It just, it's like a foamy type of cream. Oh, look at the little swirl. Oh. The scent of rose is filling the air. Dang it, Man, I want to shove my fingers in there so bad, but I know I'm not going to get any use out of this because it smells awful. But it's so pretty and cute and swirly, and I, I would love to try it, but I know that I would just end up wasting it because that, that scent is something I could not handle. Ooh, speaking of scents, I'm actually pretty excited about this. The next thing that we have in here, I think, is a perfume. This is the Five Scents Catch Feelings perfume, and I'm actually pretty excited about this. It has lychee... Damask Rose. Viviteer Roots and Suede Notes to it. That's a cute little bottle. I don't love like the little sticker on it, but I think this is actually really nice and just minimal. And it's got a little wood top to it. I do love wood. Ooh, okay. I think it's safe enough to actually spray on my body. There is definitely just like a little hint of rosiness in there. There really is. But I think the first kind of notes that I'm getting are like kind of a fruity citrusy note. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm just trying to trick myself into liking it. Yeah, okay, it, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. The rose isn't too terribly strong. There is kind of like a warmth after that like initial hit of like a citrusy florally fruit. And as it's dissipating a little bit, it is definitely a little bit more warm. I don't know what a viviteer root is, but maybe that's what I'm smelling along with that suede. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. And uh, the little bottle's cute. So, all right, fun. Next up here from Benefit, we have a more we have a brow micro filling pin so it's like a little pin and it's got little like teeth little teeth that you can like make hairs with this is in the shade light brown i typically like to have my eyebrows pretty dark to go with my hair i don't know if this color would really work for my brows but i do like the idea of like the pin with the little teeth in it to make natural brow hair following that we have something from drunk elephant expensive. Okay, so this is a proteiny power peptide resurf serum. Not resurfacing, just resurf with 10% lactic acid in it. Stuff like that just sounds so scary. Like, yeah, here, put this lactic acid on your face. You know how I was saying like, ooh, maybe there'll be some like spooky stuff in here. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of spooky. But I know like chemical exfoliation is really good for your skin. So here is the product. It's a little bit different, you know, being square with that green top and there's like a little hatch on top. Ew, you twist it and like the thingy pops up. Alrighty, next up in here from This Works, we have an evening detox clay mask. I feel like everything we get from This Works is just a lotion that smells like lavender, and it's like, this will make you sleep. Uh, so this is a little bit different. That's nice. This is an anti-pollution purifying mask with light and kalium clay. Oh, interesting. It says, before use, warm the tube in hands. I don't think I've ever seen that instruction before. Next, we have another squeezy tube here. This is from Rin Skincare. Ooh, cleansing milk. There's something about calling things milk with like face and body care that kind of creeps me out a little bit. Like this is a body milk. 
something about it. I don't, I don't know. It says this soothes and protects and you're just supposed to rub it on your face and wash it off. So I'm guessing it is a face cleanser that is just very, very gentle and milky, I suppose. Next up here is the first little thing that I actually pulled out of the box. We got some little pods. They look like little alien spacecrafts. They're kind of cute, just like a little pale pink UFO. These are Dose 1.0 hair oils. Each dose, which I'm guessing is one little pod, is supposed to contain a blend of rocket oil, jojoba oil, aloe vera, argan oil, A, C, E, and B5 vitamins. It is interesting that they come in these little pods. That's kind of cute. I don't know if there's like a reason for that. Like maybe some of these ingredients, if left like to the air, it'll it'll do something to them. I don't know. But the pods are cute. One pod would probably be fine with, you know, for somebody with hair like mine. You know, it's kind of long, but it's super thin. But if you've got like a lot of hair, I, don't, I feel like you might have to go through two or three of those little UFOs. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Too Faced Better Than... The only reason I'm hesitating to say this word is because YouTube recently flagged my video, my uh, Stitch Fix unboxing and try on, where I tried on just hideous clothes and talked a little bit about like, you know, my weight gain and feeling different about myself currently. They flagged it for inappropriate content. Yeah, yeah, they said it wasn't advertiser friendly because of inappropriate content. Your guess is truly as good as mine. I have no idea what I thought was inappropriate in that video, but now I'm like afraid to say or do anything because YouTube's gonna be like, that's bad. But anyway, we have the mascara here. I don't think I've ever tried the waterproof version of this mascara, but I have tried. Ooh, textures. I tried the regular version. Um, I kind of love this tube. It's, it's a little wet. It looks like there's little water droplets on it. Something about that is just really enticing to me. My grandma, when I was growing up, had this little vase with like fake flowers in it and like fake water at the bottom. And then on the leaves of the flowers, there are little fake water droplets. And like, the young me was enchanted. Enchanted by the little fake water drops. So maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, recalling memories. <laughs> All right. So that was everything in the first box. There was a lot of skincare in here. I was anticipating a lot more makeup personally, just because Bailey Sarian is like known for doing makeup as she's talking about spooky stuff. So I thought there'd be like more makeup. Uh, but let me get you guys some prices here for all these things so we can get a value. Yeah, see, even right there, they got the dark history of beauty. I really, I really thought we would see some like cool kind of creepy eyeshadow palettes or like a black lipstick or something. Ooh, off to a good start there. All right, so the proteiny thing from Drunk Elephant is $82. All right, the Too Faced mascara is 28 bucks, so we're already up to simple math. 82 plus 28, 80 plus 20 is 102 plus 8 is 10, 110 dollars. Little hair capsules are 33 dollars, also a little pricey. Then we have this body butter stuff; it's 35 bucks. I knew this was kind of expensive. Man, I want to stick my fingers in it. Oh, this perfume is 65 dollars, so we're, we definitely have a pretty good value going on here. This little mask here is 31 bucks. Is this the full size? I, I feel like that's a lot of money for, for this much face mask. And then finally, the Benefit Brow product is $25. So I should have been keeping a note. I should have been writing this down. Mm -hmm. I would have to go back through and circle everything so I can add it all up. <laughs> Surprised I have a pin this time. Typically, I just use an eyeliner. This box comes to a total retail value of $299, which, you know, that, that's not too shabby. I do believe this is like a 50 something dollar box, like $55 even maybe, which is a pretty expensive. Um, but I do like that all these things are full size. However, this is a little bit skincare heavy for me. And just kind of flipping through the magazine, seeing like the possibility of the things that you can get. Isn't truly a ton of makeup options that we might be able to get in the side of this box, but there are a couple of specific things that I'm kind of hoping will come in. Ah, hoping will come in here. So we'll see if we get those things. Moving on here to box number two. Squarespace has been one of my favorite sponsors to work with for so long on the channel. I've been working with and using Squarespace for well over a year now, and it has just been all around amazing. As a business owner, Squarespace has been so helpful. I love having a website for my store. It's a great place to really show off the business, and now that my business is expanding into a whole second store, Squarespace is gonna be like absolutely necessary. Squarespace can help anyone build their brand and grow their business online. Whether you are a business owner who wants to start selling online, an artist who wants to show off their craft, or a blogger who strives to inspire people, Squarespace has something Thing for everyone. They have a ton of really useful tools and it's a great way to get creative. They offer customizable galleries where you can display your images and videos in unique ways, blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site. Their system supports threaded comments, replies, and likes along with the capability to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Plus Squarespace keeps you fully connected to all of your social medias by displaying posts from your social profiles directly on your website so your followers can see it and share it too. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, Squarespace has all the tools you need to build a brand, grow your business and pursue your passion. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Alexandra Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And as always I just want to say a massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel. You guys help make videos like these possible. 
Ooh, interesting. Oh, I do think I see a makeup item in here, so that's exciting. I'm just quickly gonna go ahead and get all of the repeats out of the way. So we have another Too Faced mascara, another This Works Detox Clay Mask, and then finally we have we have another little micro hairpin thing here, but this time, oh, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> that's right. At first I was like, it's in the shade blonde. I'm very obviously not a blonde. Why would Ipsy ever send me a blonde thing based on, you know, like my Ipsy profiles, blah, 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 the thing is. In one of my Ipsy profiles, I say that I'm a blonde with violet eyes. If you watch the Ipsy showdowns, you get it, you know why. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way. This is something I typically wouldn't like love receiving inside of an Ipsy bag because, you know, they're hair accessories. Not my favorite thing in the world. I would prefer this to be replaced with like a makeup product. However, I've been wanting to buy some of these, so this works out. These little claw clips are from Etika. I do like the shades that they come in and they're kind of like simple and minimalistic looking, so I really like the style of them. I just don't know if like the claw clip like messy little up hairdo is in the cards for me. I would, I've been trying. I've really been trying to do the, the claw clip look because that's kind of the it look right now and I just don't know if it's my head shape or like my hair. I don't know what it is but I cannot get the claw clip to work right and also not hurt my head. Like it kind of feels like it's ripping off the hair in my back of my head and that's one of the only good places I got hair. Back here is decently solid so like I'd like to keep it there if I could. But I was trying it with like kind of a smaller clip like almost half the size of this so maybe having a larger clip will help out but um, yeah I'm, I'm a little bit excited about these because I, I was gonna buy them and now I don't I don't have to. Next we have a large squeezy tube with color protecting pre-shampoo treatment. What? What is this? What is a pre-shampoo treatment? I don't think I've ever heard of that before. I do dye my hair, so this is something that might work for me. I just don't know what it does. Oh, it's a color boosting treatment to protect process hair against fading, chemical damage, and breakage. Oh, okay. That actually sounds kind of nice. I feel like if you don't dye your hair, then this might not be like your first choice of item to put inside a beauty box because, you know, it's kind of very specific for people who dye their hair. Oh, uh, but yeah, I might give this a go. I don't think I'm going to put it all the way up to my roots. It says put it on your roots, but I, I try to avoid putting anything extra up there, but I might try it through like, like my mids and ends uh, to maybe keep my hair a little bit more shiny and keep it from fading. I expected that to be a lot heavier when I picked it up. <laughs> I feel like there is something way too small for this box in here. What is this? Yeah, something from the Grown Alchemist. I can always tell from the packaging. This is a regenerating night cream. He's just little. He's just little, but he's inside a big box. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a kind of a nice looking tube. Again, I really like the simplicity of it. It's black, which I always approve of. And it comes in their standard, like, metal packaging. So, I mean, yeah, this is cute, and I'm sure it's it's nice. Does that say Rose? Bailey Sarian. You don't know me, and I don't know you, but apparently we have very different, <laughs> very different tastes and sense of things. The next thing we have in here, not only is a skin product, not only is it a toner, but it is a rose clarifying toner. This is from Georgette Klinger, which is another one of those nice fancy names. There's a safety seal on it and I really don't want to peel that back to just unveil the rose scent. So yeah, I'll be, <laughs> I'm just going to make a box for my aunt. I'll see if she wants any of this rose smell and stuff. And then finally, last but not least, we do actually have a makeup item in here. Well, I guess mascara. Mascara technically counts as makeup item. But we do have like a colorful makeup item, which is exciting. Oh, I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. It is not. Oh, Scott Barnes. I've heard of that. Who is that? Why is that so familiar? Scott Barnes. That, that's definitely a person. I've definitely heard of that before. So we have a Scott Barnes sculpting and contouring kit. I haven't really contoured in a long time. I have not truly contoured. I don't even think I've attempted contouring in the past like two and a half years. Holy, oh my god, is that? Okay, I don't know too much about like anything, Um, but like makeup, color theory, that kind of stuff. Some of these from first glance, and maybe it's just the shadow that I'm in. Okay, that looks much better than what I was seeing, much better. Cause this just looked olive green. This was straight gray, and this over here looked like mustard. It does look a little bit more peeling here on the screen, but we have some definite undertones, definitely like yellow, orange, green, pink undertones to these. And honestly, I just don't even quite know if I know what to do with these. Um, I'd have to watch like a tutorial <laughs> to know where these shades are supposed to go on your face to, you know, make it look like actually nice and contoured and not just like it's dirty. <laughs> it just says Scott Barnes on the front and I would think that like the names underneath the shades themselves would kind of tell you a little bit more about what to do. But chiseled, sculpt, carved, sliced, diced, snatched, none of, none of that, none of that tells me what I need to do. So, um, very interesting shades. Not quite what I was hoping for. I really thought this was going to be some like cool kind of like moody, smoky eyeshadow palette, but, um, it's this. And again, let 
let me get you guys some prices here for the new items. Oh, 58 bucks for that contour palette? Okay. I turned my camera off and I had to turn it back on. I, I had to turn it back on because I finally found the price. Well, not this one. Where'd it go? Okay, I lost it. I finally found the price of this little tiny squeezy black tube and was so stunned that I had to turn back on the camera before I even finished my very efficient math. This is $125 for this little black squeezy tube. What? <laughs> Excuse me? $125. You got an explanation for why? Packed with bioactive botanicals, neuropeptides, and glycoproteins. I don't know what any of that is, but apparently it's $125 worth. Okay, back to what I was doing. One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing things. Oh, the $125 would be one of them. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think I'm counting this thing twice. I, I think I'm counting the one from the first box. Did we only get six items inside of this box and I just didn't notice? Dagnabbit, dagnabbit, we did. Okay, so apparently we've only got six items inside of this box, probably because one of them cost $125. So let me do this math real fast and I'll tell you how much this is worth. It's worth less. It's worth less than the first box. I guess since we had like a crazy expensive product, they only put six items inside of the box instead of seven, like the first one. So that, I mean, I guess that means it's less. So this one came to $284, which is definitely still pretty good. Even though like a huge chunk of it was just one little tube of cream. Um, that's definitely still a good value. This one, I guess, technically had like a little bit of a better mix of skincare and makeup. <gasps> the clippies! The clippies! I forgot about the clippies! That's what I was missing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it actually isn't a $284 value. It is... Those claw clips are $45? There's some little pieces of plastic with some like pokey bits on it to hold your hair back. $45? I was thinking like 20 something at the high end, but anyway, throwing that $45 onto there and now we have a $329 nine dollar value so now this box is worth more than the last one i just have almost no memory so i totally forgot that we got those little clips uh, but yeah now i'm really excited that i'm not buying my own claw clips because apparently they're very expensive at least those ones are so this one definitely had like a little bit of a better mix of like the makeup skincare hair care stuff in it because we did get a actual like power order not power powder palette <laughs> inside of this box so there is a little bit more makeup in there i was hoping it would be more like fun makeup but that brings us here to our final ipsy xbox uh let's go ahead and see what we got i'm really hoping why are all of these like that i feel like there's some type of conspiracy going on like they messed up with something and then they had to reopen the boxes <laughs> and do something to them because every single one of these has like a big clear sticker on it that has been cut open with another big clear sticker stuck over top of it so i feel like they made like a whoopsie and they <laughs> had to redo the boxes more 45 dollars hair clips oh heck yeah jackpot is this another 125 dollars cream <laughs> I have $250 worth of night cream now. Excellent. Let me go ahead and get the rest of the repeats out of the way, which is several. Oh, almost. Yeah, all of them. Oh, that's something a little different. That's exciting. Okay, let me get the repeats out of the way and I can show you guys the new stuff. So we have another drunk elephant. We have another rose toner. You don't want to run out of that. Another Vior Perfecting Prism Color Protecting Pre-Shampoo Treatment. And then we have another Too Faced Mascara. So a lot of similar items, but we do have a couple of new ones in here. So I'm excited about that. And they look like they might be fun makeup. The first new item in here is for Makeup Forever. This is the Rogue Artist Forever Matte, I'm guessing, liquid lipstick. That's kind of exciting. It says it lasts for 24 hours, which is a lot of hours to be to be on your lips. It has a smoothing effect also, which is really nice. My lips can get kind of, you know, crinkly and dry, so uh, hopefully it'll make them look nice and smooth. The Power Load Applicator effortlessly distributes the formula for the boldest matte finish. It's supposed to be transfer proof and smudge proof. Ooh, I thought this is gonna be red. It's not red. It's in the shade Toffee at All Hours. Why do these look like two different shades to me? <laughs> this looks like a shade that I personally would really enjoy, kind of like a brownish with like a hint of red to it, kind of like a just a neutral tone. This looks orange. Does that not look orange in this little bottle? And orange is like my least favorite. That is my least favorite color to put on my lips. Also, interesting. <laughs> look at this big old like pointy gnome hat. Why, why is it so long and pointed? Oh, shucks, you guys. Oh, shucks. Okay. What an unusual little toe foot. That definitely is different. Um, There's nothing on the sides and then it's like kind of just right there at the tip. Unfortunately though, this just looks like straight orange. This looks like terracotta, like a clay pot. Like if you, if like a, if a clay pot was liquid, you know, like the state it's in before they make it the pot, just the clay. It looks like clay. It's, it's orange. It looks like the earth. Man, that's really unfortunate. I'm not quite sure how it's showing up to you guys on camera, but I just, I know for a fact I'm not going to get 
use out of this. It's a very interesting tube. It's nice that it's 24 hours smudge proof and it has a smoothing effect, but I just, I know I'm not gonna be able to wear this because it's straight, it's straight orange. Yeah, no, but I'm a little bit sad about that. I was really excited about that lipstick, but um, at least we have one more item in here that is also a makeup item and it looks like it's gonna be an eyeshadow palette, so it's exciting. The final item in here is the Manifest palette by Arthur Author Aether Beauty. <laughs> I still don't know. We just talked about this. I still don't know. It has a nice ombre look to it and looks kind of like crystally or something with those uh, raised edges. It's very purple. <laughs> it's my least favorite. No, it is my, my, my least favorite um, shade to wear on my eyes. Purple for some reason. So yeah, most of the shadows in here definitely have a purpley tone to them. There are a couple that aren't. It is an interesting layout. I feel like there's some, you know, potential wasted space in there, but you know, it's kind of cute and different. That's so purple. And the lipstick is so orange. I never. <laughs> I really was personally excited about these boxes because I love Bailey Sarian's like style, her personal style. I think it's great. The makeup look she does are always so good. And I was just really hoping for, you know, more of like what we're seeing here, I guess. We got some like dark smoky eyes, like a cool dark lip. Like I think this is a really beautiful makeup look and I was kind of anticipating seeing stuff inside of this box that would like, you know, give you this kind of look. And even just kind of flipping through the magazine and seeing what you might like potentially get inside of these boxes, nothing you would get would make this look. Not, not, none of this would make that happen, which I think is a little bit of a missed opportunity. I definitely, however, I don't think it's Bailey Sarian's fault. Maybe it was like the styling of the magazine not really matching what she selected to put inside the boxes or maybe she only had like a finite amount of like items to be able to choose from. I personally have curated a beauty box before and mine mine did not go well. It didn't go well at all. I was gonna tell you guys like that whole story because it was incredibly frustrating but basically like even though you're the one curating it you still only have like certain things you can choose from because they have to be able to get them from companies and distributors. They have to be able to buy like big bulk wholesale palettes of these things for a really reasonable price to be able to put them into a box and give you value. So there's like, there's a lot that goes into it. I just had like expectations of seeing some really cool kind of moody, smoky, deep, you know, lipsticks and eyeshadows and stuff that kind of fit Bailey Sarian's channel. Maybe the stuff that she wears in everyday life and uses in everyday life isn't what she does on her channel. You know, that's a total possibility. She could use this rose toner every single day of her life and it's like a stable product so she wanted to put it inside the box, but that's not something you typically see on her channel. So, you know, the stuff that she chose, I'm sure, is stuff that she does enjoy. I just personally don't know if it's stuff that I'm going to enjoy. A lot of rose scents, colors that I don't really know are going to work well with me, and then just a ton of skincare. So I was really, really excited for these, but I don't know if I'm still so terribly excited for them. Oh, prices! Wait a second. I don't, I don't even see this palette listed on here. Like, this isn't even an option on here. I can't even tell you guys how much the palette is because it's, it's not listed inside of this magazine. Well, let me know what you guys thought about these boxes down below in the comments. Did you receive one yourself? Did you enjoy yours? Did you not enjoy yours? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. I love reading and responding to all your all's comments. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Bye.